Hey guys, it's Nikki. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. And in today's video, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be creating this eye look that my friend sent me. I asked her to inspire my makeup today and she definitely did. So shout out to you. I went in and I used just Dominique Cosmetics on the eyes. And so I'm going to go in and use these two palettes today, which is the Latte Palette and the Celestial Storm Palette. So if you guys want to see how I got this look, please keep watching. Okay, so we're going to get straight into this look. I had my friend choose my makeup today because I was like, I need help deciding. She wanted me to do something like with orange. So I think I'm going to go based off of this look, which is like orange in the crease and kind of like pink on the lid, like very smoky. So to do that, I'm going to take the Dominique Cosmetics Celestial Storm Palette. Um, super gorgeous. I love the shades. I'm also going to take the Dominique Cosmetics Latte Palette, which I love. I've been using the heck out of this top row. I'm going to start off by going in with Caramel into the crease. And then I'm going to go into Pumpkin Spice. This palette is so freaking cute. It's crazy. And I'm just going to really build up the orange in the crease. I don't want to go in at first and be too intense. I really want it to be nicely blended. So now we're going to go into the Celestial Storms palette. And I'm going to take Lunar Eclipse, which is that bright orange in there. And that's going to go on top and we're going to blend it out. I take this really little flat brush i'm gonna go into lucid dream from that same celestial storms palette and that's gonna go onto the lid I'm going to take just a brush that has no product on it and kind of just blend the two shades together. I'm going to take a little bit of the pink, so the Lucid Dream, on the brush to blend into the crease a bit so that it blends out better. I really like this. It's really pretty. But one product that is really new to me is going to be this Smashbox Photo Finish Vitamin Glow Primer with vitamins B, C, and E. I've never used this. This is my first time opening it. Um, yeah, so let's just see how it goes. Oh, I really thought it was a dropper one, but okay. Um, what is it supposed to do? Revitalizes and brightens with vitamin b c and e instantly hydrate softens and nourish and it's for all skin types and you apply one to two pumps before makeup for a hydrated healthy glow which i'm interested in seeing i feel like it's coming out weird what the heck okay i feel like the pump isn't like oh there we go there we go that's what it looks like it honestly feels like a vitamin C serum. It reminds me of the Derma E one that I have. I mean, it just doesn't have like a strong scent at all, which I think is great. But it definitely feels like a vitamin C <laughs> serum or like a just a vitamin serum, which is not bad. Um, but we'll see how it clears throughout the day. So I'm going to go into Milani, Milani, Milani Conceal and Perfect 2 in 1 Foundation in shade 06 and Beige. This has been a new favorite of mine recently. I don't remember why I even started using it because I think I had it. And I was like, let me just try it out. I had it for a few months and I never used it. Um, I regret that. <laughs> it's such a good foundation. Like, I don't know. And what is it, like $10.99 maybe? It's so good. Like... It's my everyday foundation, even in the summertime. I think it's gonna go pretty well with the primer that um, we used from Smashbox because this is a more, it's not a thick foundation. It's not, it is thick, but it isn't um, 
thick as like your Tarte Amazonian clay or like Tarte Shape Tape concealer. It has like a bit of like <sighs> due to it, to the finish of it, but it is like i don't know i can't go a day without wearing it like i haven't reached for any of my old foundations and i actually bought a new one because i left it at home one time and i was so upset so i bought a new one so now i have backup <laughs> i'm gonna go into concealer now which is gonna be the mark jacobs extra shot in shade light 140. i've been loving this one if you guys watch my channel it's so good i love it um, it's especially good paired with like the really thick foundations that I sometimes like to use but even with this Milani one I really like them together. So I decided to put something over my frontal because I really don't want to ruin my, my hair before my day. But just know, I kind of hate doing it. <laughs> but it's necessary. I do sometimes pull on it like a bit up so that I can really get a precise application for like foundation, anything that I'm putting on the skin. Um, but I normally go in and tweak it afterwards once I take it off and I just go in with like smaller brushes so that I'm not, you know, getting stuff everywhere onto the lace and then I look crazy. I'm gonna take my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter um instant retouch setting powder and butter i have mixed feelings about this like i don't know why it's a really fine powder which is beautiful but i've really been trying to use it the, these past couple days to really formulate an opinion on it like i don't think it's bad but it's just really not something that i'm used to like it's definitely more finely milled than like the derma blend one that i use and so i'm really not used to this soft of powder and i'm that's not to say it's not a good powder but i'm just not used to it um but i kind of i'm trying to incorporate it in like different ways like i used it um when i do like the method where like i would put powder prior to my foundation I used it like that and it worked amazing for that as well but i don't know i'm trying to figure out how i feel about her and next i'm going to go into my sephora micro smooth powder in shade tan and also i did forget to mention that i did have my brows done off camera i did use my anastasia beverly hills dip brow in medium brown just letting you know but this is my favorite um all over finishing powder i used to just use my maybelline fit me the light medium 10 that i like to use and that works fine but i really like how this really brings some type of warmth into the skin prior to applying like bronzer so today i'm really stuck between using the elf gen atkin palette which i've been really enjoying and my hula toasted bronzer because i think that i got this one i think it's a little too deep for me um as a contour but i'm gonna try it out today and see how i can make it work because i really don't like returning items um but like it's a really nice powder and it's so pigmented and so the first time i used it i was like wait a minute this is crazy on me but i just really had to go in with a light hand and really blend it out and it would be fine um see it kind of i don't know I feel like it makes me look crazy sometimes but i don't know i don't i i really don't reach for it because i feel like it does take more work than like my kylie bronzer because my kylie bronzer is a good shade where i think the hula toasted is a little deep i don't even know if i could go with like hula caramel or just hula in general but i don't know we'll see but i like having more control over product where i just have to apply a little bit for it to look good because i really don't need to apply a whole bunch especially um on the lower region of my face you know i still wear a mask so um and it's annoying to have makeup in that all the time but i do like the way that this is looking today actually especially with the look i feel like it really brings like the warmth of the eyes um and my face, like, I feel like it brings it all together. I am going to go back into the Fenty powder and I'm just going to apply a little bit more on my nose because I did go ham. 
and I like to have like the contrast of like the highlight in the center and then the contour on the side of the nose so so okay I'm gonna be honest I feel like the Fenty powder like under my eyes I feel like it leaves like this cast like I still always see like dark circles even though i don't really have that issue with other powders and i hate to say that because i do love fenty um but i just think this powder has better uses for me so i think i'm gonna stop using it on the face um or on like after foundation i like to use it prior or like maybe for other areas but underneath the eye i definitely have more success personally with the derma blend one and i hate to say that um but i still have a lot of good uses for it it's just so different for me I finished my summer semester like the freaking ad not advanced classes like those speed classes I finished them both with an A and bio eh. okay sorry anyways had to flex very happy very proud of myself stressful as hell these past six weeks as hell Sarah if you're watching this you can attest it was stressful as hell but we did it girl we did it eh. I don't mind how that bronzer looked on me today before at first I think I was a little shook because I went ham but um, as long as I kind of use it a certain way I'm good so I don't mind it I think I could definitely probably go like a shade lighter in this though I don't know if it's the caramel or just the regular benefit hula that it is I don't know I'm not 100% sure but yeah I'm gonna go into my ColourPop juice bar pressed powder blush this is one of the many collections that they dropped this year. I'm gonna take this e.l.f. blush brush. I said blush, not brush brush. That would have been stupid. And I'm applying it on the apples of my chiquitas. I like to apply some on my nose cause I don't know, I like to look like I'm blushing. Like I just, I look like that little kid from the commercial where he's like, displaying the tissues saying how like one of the tissues are the best because it doesn't make his nose red irritated that's what i'd be looking like i go back into the eyes so i'm gonna go back into the celestial storm palette and i'm gonna start off with um lucid dream with that same brush and i'm gonna take that across the lash line and almost make it like my eyeliner i'm gonna go into lucid dream lucid jesus christ lunar eclipse I'm just gonna take a little bit on that tip uh, like that yep there we go and I'm just gonna add the orange and I'm gonna drag it as well I'm gonna go into my favorite mascara right now which is the Urban Decay Lash Perversion oh it's so good like look at this wand I've been showing her off like she's my girlfriend, like she's she's amazing. And I'm gonna just go ahead and coat my lashes. Like, look at the difference. There's that one. Oh, gorgeous. Especially for someone who doesn't like to wear lashes because I just simply am not blessed with the ability to do so. Um, or to apply them properly this is such a great mascara it really creates like that false lash effect with just being thicker um i really like to use the essence lash princess one which is the false lash effect version and that one i love um these two wands from that one and um this perversion are different so it just really depends on what you like. I like them both, so it depends on how I'm feeling that day. I have just been really obsessed with this one, so. I don't know about y'all, but I'm such a sucker for a good mascara. Like, I, I'm such a sucker for it. Like, it's kind of bad. You can get me with the mascara. Like, that's just that. Moving on into the lips. Well, actually, I'm gonna add a little bit of, oh, never mind. It just fully came out, so never mind not doing that it's going into the trash can i'm gonna go straight into lips so i'm gonna take my mac chestnut lip liner which i've been loving lately i'm gonna sharpen her i was gonna say charge jesus i'm 
And then I'm going to take my NYX lip lingerie in the shade Baby Doll and apply that to the center. I have to say this is a very comfortable lip formula that I really love because it is a liquid lipstick, but it's not drying. And it's just, it's very pretty. They have such pretty shades too. And I feel like the shade Baby Doll really um, helps give me a nice nude lip without looking too pale, too peachy, too nude. It gives me that perfect nude lip with a lip liner and that's what I love about it. I do sometimes go in and add like a little bit of my like e.l.f. camel concealer in the shade medium neutral or medium sand and I'll do that. But this one I feel like just gives me such a nice toned down, toned down like wearable everyday nude for some reason lately i've been loving lip gloss and i really want to like not add lip gloss but like i'm gonna add lip gloss <laughs> i'm gonna take the maybelline lip lifter gloss in the shade 002 which is ice and i'll apply it to the center boom gorgeous perfect i think i want to add an inner corner shade um, and I think I want it to be glitter, so I'm going to take just some of the Duo Lash Glue and I'm going to take the NYX Shimmer Down Pigment in the shade Almond and I'm going to apply that to the inner corners because I think I want to add some like glow to this look. So I like to take a little bit like this and I'm just going to take a small brush. This is from Glam Vice. I use this normally with their um, liners, but today I'm using it for this. Okay, and then I'm going to take some of that pigment into the cap, like so. And then I'm just going to dip the brush that has a little bit of glue and apply that right where we added the glue. Next, I'm going to go ahead and fix my hair. Should I show y'all? Do y'all care? I don't think so. I got these cute um, hair ties from Ulta. I think they're like satin scrunchies. They're so cute. They come with like three. They come in threes and they're really cute. I just needed one for when I was doing my makeup because I don't like my hair on my face. Um, I'm going to go ahead and like comb up the hair. You know what? I'll be back. I'll be right back. This is what your girl is looking like. I am going to take a little bit more of Hoola and apply it because I feel like for some reason I look pale. Could just be me. Could just totally be me. But I just want to apply a little bit more. So that is it for this video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like this video, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel for more. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!